Hello friends, welcome back. Check out this hair. I wasn't gonna film today because I kind of am not feeling very well. I'm actually really, really tired. I'll explain that in just a second. But this hair, I just didn't want to do my hair in the same like twisted back. I've been pulling it back into a ponytail over the weekend when we didn't end up going to church. <laughs> I didn't end up doing my hair on Sunday. Then I ended up not doing my hair on Monday. So anyway, I did curls and I used my husband's gel this morning and it like took and I like the scrunchy curl. And no, I didn't do makeup because I didn't intend for this to look so good. And I also didn't anticipate filming. But I think I'm gonna go to the dollar store or the dollar 25 store. And I wanna see if I can find the things that I've seen that are new. Come and join me in my sweatpants, <laughs> my sweatshirt. Plus, hey, camera's dying. Hang on one second. Got this battery changed out. And I'll charge that. I didn't sleep well last night, and I didn't sleep well the night before, and I didn't sleep well Christmas, like New Year's Eve day, or New Year's, like the day after New Year's. I've just really struggled with my sleep. I think part of it was the anticipation of whether or not my kids would go to school Monday, and again, Tuesday, today. I just get anxious that I'm not gonna wake up to my alarm, I'm not gonna look and check and see the email that goes out. Anyway, I just, have, I literally probably fell asleep at four in the morning and Chelsea woke me up at 6.45, 15 minutes before my alarm went off to double check that they were in fact on two hour delay and on a snow route, which is another reason why I think I'm gonna go out for the next hour or so. Um, I'm waiting to see if I can upload this video of mine that I just did before I go. So they're on two hour delay from this morning and also on snow route. We get snow clear up in the mountains in our district and so they have to put the entire district on snow route. Even though it's rainy and our hill is totally fine, the hill next to us is totally fine, all the lowlands are fine, they're in fact probably getting flooded. <laughs> but it means that I have to drive to go and pick up my kids. Either from the school, which I'm not doing, I did that this morning. To all you parent pickup people, either in the past or current, I am so sorry. I did it one time this school year so far and I, mm -mm wasted an hour plus of my time. That's another, oh, anyway, we missed, we thought we missed the bus down at the snow route, the bus stop, left, pulled through an intersection, too late to turn around and the bus passed us, going the other direction to pick up the kids from the bus stop and I could have let them get on the bus. So I ended up sitting in the carpool drop off lane or whatever for the next half hour. It was a waste of my morning. Then I haven't felt good, I'm exhausted. I have not had caffeine for the past, I had, no I didn't have some yesterday. Did not have it yesterday, did not have it the day before, did not have it, I haven't had it since the New Year's Eve. Dude, I'm doing pretty good. No, I did have it, I did have it yesterday. I did have caffeine yesterday. That's probably part of my problem. I did have it at dinner last night. Sorry, let me just upload this video really quick. Hang on. So that video went up the other day. Sorry, my computer has been being weird. I like, turned on a video I didn't turn on. Now I forget where I was at. Okay, that video went up and it's our 2021 year in review. It's my favorite video that I've done aside from all of my Hawaii videos. It's my favorite video that I've done all year long and I didn't notice until like 7 or 8 p.m. that day that the comments were turned off. You guys, when you guys see that, when you see that my comments are turned off on any of my videos, go find me on Instagram and send me a message. My daughter noticed it. She was watching it and she was like, Mom, how come the comments are turned off? And I was like, <gasps> So I have a favor to ask of you guys. I need you to go back, and this is all about scientific background YouTube analytics. I need you to go back and rewatch that entire video. It's great, you've already watched it, you know it's good, but I need you to rewatch it and comment. If you're really nice, you'll give me a couple comments, even like like one individual sentence per comment and, and re-spark the algorithm on that video because that the comments are interaction between you and me and that tells YouTube that the, that the video is very popular and they will draw attention to the video and they will help it grow. And I need that video to grow because it is the epitome of our family. It is the, like, ugh, it just encompasses everything that we are here on our channel. And if I can get that video out there into YouTube land, then I can, like, that video I need to, like, draw attention to. Bless Jason's heart, my number one video right now is his disposal video. <laughs> 
I pray that I can have a day where I can like have a big enough channel that I can let him go and do his own channel and I'll be able to piggyback him off of my account and he'll grow quickly. But for now, he's my number one video. And while it's great and I have a great handyman of a husband, I need like our content <laughs> to be like my number one video. Go give that video some love and some comments and then let me know here in this comment section for this video that you've done that because I want to see if you guys are I don't know how much of that was white I want to see if it the traction is happening from you guys hearing this from me now or if it's just the algorithm itself like doing its thing so let me know if you can help me out with that really quick okay so small alert right now I'm just trying to get in the car and go and Kaylee and Abby were texting me and confirming what time they needed to get picked up at the snow route bus stop and they're on a lockdown at their high school. So Kaylee doesn't think it's anything drastic. She doesn't know if it's just like a, you know, like a drill. I don't know that they would do a drill on a day like today. They're already shortened hours and it's finals week, this week and next week. Like they don't need any more delay in classroom time, even at the sake of like understanding how lockdowns work. So I'm just going to actually head down by the high school. So it's modified lockdown. So there's a suspicion of something, not a direct threat, but not sure what that means. Actually where I need to go is right by the high school. So I actually think I will tell the girls that I will pick them up from school instead. They can walk down to meet me instead. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it'll work out timing wise. They won't let them out of school if they're in lockdown, but like, anyway, now I'm a little worried. I think it's okay. They just had a suspicion of something going wrong. So I'm going to see if more kids are texting their parents and see if we can get some more information. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm at the dollar store. I'll show you what I got, but I also want to show you these mats. These are the ones I got for the garage. So lots to choose from if you want to come to that. sit here in a parking lot for the next few minutes to see if oh that's not anything uh to see if we get word about the kids so the school did send a lockdown notice um i mean when the email went out they said that they're still in lockdown it's a moderated lockdown lockdown i think is what they call it where they're still doing classroom work within the classrooms but they're locked into the classroom uh so i don't know the police are there they're investigating um so we'll just kind of wait and see but i am down here by the high school and i just told the girls i'll just pick them up but now i need to see if someone can pick up chelsea from her bus stop and take her home because it's pouring rain now and it's a long walk from our snow route so i'm gonna do that and then um just give me a second and then i'm gonna show you what i got i got jason a new we'll just do that really quick and then i'll do this i got jason a new little calendar he just keeps like looking at every store we go to and it's like you can't go wrong with a dollar <laughs> If you don't like it, you don't like it. Um, also, I knew I was gonna sit here and wait. I got half a can of Pringles. And then this is the line that I, this is the line that I went to look for. They've had it at the dollar spot before, but they haven't had the face blenders before. So I got two of those. Abby said she needed one the other day and I thought I had a stash of them, but she couldn't find one. And actually, usually I get them for them for Christmas, but I didn't this year. So anyway, they only had two left. Otherwise I would have gotten a whole bunch more, but I do want to see if, yeah. And I like how they have a little flat edge right there. So that'll be good. And I'm going to just keep checking because these are like three to $20 a piece, depending on the name brand that you buy. So that's a good find. And then I just thought I would add to my little house collection for Valentine's Day. I don't do red anymore very much. I will do little hints of it in like my table trays, um, maybe a little hint of it on my big, huge shelf in the living room, but it's really cute. I can even keep this one up year round if I wanted to, because it's just the white and the gray and the black and the wood. Um, I also picked up some little filing boards. My nails are down to the nubbies. 
and they keep breaking and I just keep needing to file them down. I got a leave because my doctor yesterday recommended Abby and I, she thinks that Abby has endometriosis as well. We're gonna go and get her checked out um, at an OB. She won't wanna like film that video at all, but I'm gonna have her checked out and see if she has the same thing. But my doctor recommended for my back pain and her new back pain that we both try a leave. It's 12 hour medication and so that's gonna really help the couple days that we're in pain every month. But really like my back is always tight. It always hurts. Oh, here's another one. I just thought that one was cute. So even though, sorry, this is Jason sending me messages. I had to tell Jason about it just so that he didn't hear about it after the fact. We're just waiting to get more information so I don't have any new update for him. But I just got this cute one. It looks like a little mason jar. It has a little like metal at the top. It looks like a ring. Anyway, kind of cute. And that's it, I think. Yeah, that's all I got. Um, but I wanted to, I'll keep going back because there's more stuff in this line. They actually have some makeup brushes and I'm looking to replace some of my brushes because I don't like to clean them. And mine are like years old and they're not in good shape. They're dropping like, anyway, they're not good. So I'm just gonna wait here for a minute, but I gotta get a ride home for Chelsea. So I'll be back and we'll find out what happened with Gailey and Abby when they get out of school. I really honestly feel like I wish I had my hair done or my makeup done, because my hair's really cute today, and I don't know if it's gonna be able to like, I never have any curls on top, but I do love the curls here on the bottom. Having it shorter does allow the curl to stay. And I wish I had my makeup done, but the reality is that this is it. This is all I'm doing today, so there's no point. Things are changing a little bit. I'm seeing a lot of cars pull up into this lot, which is a normal place for people to pick up their kids so they don't have to do the pickup line. Um, but they're releasing the students <laughs> early. It's not that early, but they're just like, we can't do the, they said that the police can't do their investigation of what they found unless they have the school empty. So they're releasing all the students. Okay, oh, she's. it's not lifted yet. Okay, yeah, okay. So I think they're just working on it. I got the email from the school, so they haven't lifted it yet. They're trying to get parents to know that they need to come pick up their kids. I don't know if they're gonna send them home on the bus. I don't think the buses are even there yet. So I don't know, I don't know, this might be a huge nightmare. But I just arranged for two different moms to pick up Chelsea at the bus stop so Chelsea can choose a ride and they know what the situation is here. So Kaylee's gonna walk with Jacob. I'm gonna ask, ask her to walk with Abby too. Can you find Abby and walk together, question mark? Meet her out front, question mark? I'm glad they're getting off campus, but they said that they can't even like do anything about letting the students back in the building until they finish the investigation. So we might not even have school tomorrow. <laughs> like, I don't know what the deal is. Okay, now I have some paranoid moms, but let me be, let me get some more information and I'll be back with you guys. I am so glad I'm down here though. It was meant to be that I was down here and had the idea to come down here, even though I'm not dressed or had any intention of coming out, but I am so glad I'm here right now versus being at home and not knowing if they would be able to get home. So I, you know, prayers answered in weird ways, I guess. All right, I'm trying to get a hold of Jason again. I think he's just with the customer. He's with the customer. He knows the situation, um, and I'll be able to update him in a minute. So they have released the kids from school. You can kind of see that there's parents leaving um, with their kids, but it's, I think they're having the kids leave yeah, they're having the kids leave probably through like the emergency exits and stuff. And so it's just taking them a long time to get out of the building because some kids are out, but I think they might've just been on the main floor and so it was easy for them to get out. So it's just taking Kaylee and Abby a long time to get out. She's, <laughs> Abby said that she's on the top floor still. She's like, there's no end in sight when I'm gonna be able to get out. I'm just sitting here waiting, but Chelsea has a ride and she's going home. I had two moms that were helping me. One of them was at the bus stop when I was talking to her and she's like, I see Chelsea. She got into a car. I know the mom, like she'll be going home safely. So that's good. And now I have an hour to wait for these kids to evacuate their school and get home to get Ashley from her bus route. <laughs> Not sure how to get Ashley home. I'm sure I could reach out to any of my friends and ask them to go and get her. But I think Kaylee and Abby will be able to get be home in an hour. But these kids are just slow like making their way you can just see like oh, maybe you can't see just parents coming in and out of this parking lot kind of one at a time um, as kids are making their way down I see buses up there trying to get to the school um, so that's good I guess they're gonna bus home whoever needs to get bused home um, but they've got to get the school evacuated 
and it's just taking a little bit of time. So at least they're getting out of the school. Like I want them out of the school, away from the property, and then I'll feel better about it. But they're gonna be safe. Kaylee's with Jacob and they're gonna meet Abby right out front as soon as they get together. I will feel better about them walking together. Like crazy day. Yeah, I'm over here. You can come over and meet me here. Are you guys all together? Uh, me and Evelyn are together. We can't find Kaylee. She was like one of the first people let out. Okay, well. Right there. Never mind, I found her. She's right here. Is she with no, Jake? Jacob. She's with Jacob? We just found Jacob, not Jake. Hold on. Okay. We just found Jacob. Do you know where Kaylee is? Hold on. Uh, we're trying to find Kaylee, then we'll walk over. Is Jacob coming to us, or is he going to his car? Jacob has his own car. Okay. We can take Evelyn home. Is that the plan? Yeah. Okay. Just be to get, stay safe and stay together, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna walk to Jacob's car because it's closer and then he'll drive us. Okay, I'm just right here in the parking lot. I'll see you soon. Okay, see you. Love you. Love you, bye. Bye, love you. Love you too. <laughs> I didn't think I would get emotional until I heard her voice. <sighs> I know it's probably like a simple thing that they're investigating, but like, um, <clears throat> we really haven't had like anything major happen before. <clears throat> so it feels good to like hear her voice and know she's out of the school. Kaylee's already out of the school. I just think they can't find her. Um, but Jacob was with Abby and Evelyn and they're just trying to find her. So <sighs> just glad she's out of the school and like coming away from the building. That's all I want. I don't care that it's pouring rain and Jacob's gonna bring him, you know, like you heard, she's, he's gonna bring him over to me. Um, so. I am happy to see you guys. Hello. Hello. You okay, Abby? Yeah. I really had to pee when we were in lockdown. Did you go yet? Yeah, I did. I, I didn't. Went up to the, Man, I you got to turn the camera off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that in, Evelyn. Um, you said it, I'm leaving in. Oh, I'm happy to see you guys. Jacob's okay in his car? Yeah, he just oh. has to wait for his brother. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, Evelyn is gonna give my nar the narration of what happened, right? Okay, so basically, during, I'm pretty sure it was first lunch, these kids went into the boys' bathroom down by the gym and they found bullets on the floor. And so then they oh, went to go like report it to the office, obviously. And then we went into a modified lockdown. And then at the end of the class, the principal announced that we had to get escorted out class by class. So we had to wait at least 20 minutes just to leave the school. And like there were like five police cars there and it was very So stressful. each, the police officer would go from class to class. Yeah. yeah, like there'd be a police officer in every hall that was being escorted. Good. And they only let you go down certain hallways. You can yeah. Go down certain ways. You have to keep going the way they told you to. Yeah, and, and you had to go to the bathroom? I do a bathroom the entire time. She <laughs> <laughs> was in the bathroom. Before they even called the announcement, I had to go to the bathroom, but they were all locked because they already locked them. So she got someone to let her use the nurse's the lounge? End, though, I had to wait an hour, an hour and like 20 minutes. Oh, I'm so sorry. And now we get to fight traffic. The thing is, like, the other two middle schools are right near the high school, and they should have just kept them in school. They should have just, like, did a modified lockdown and kept all of them in school and let the high school evacuate, get them all taken care of, and then release the middle school. That's what they should have done. I understand it would have caused a little more, you know, mayhem to, like, get them home on the buses and stuff, but, like, it's mayhem down there by the schools right now. So I'm glad I did it from a different parking lot, but I'm glad you guys are home. I'm sorry. I don't like that. I'm glad they're home. They don't want to be on camera, so I'm gonna turn this off. But Evelyn likes to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Evelyn has no problem. <laughs> She's like the strange teenager that doesn't mind it at all. <laughs> okay, Grandma. you guys need to go and tell Chelsea to stay home until I get home. If she is home. She should be home. And then I will go get Ashley at the bus stop and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, the cars are already lining up down at the bottom of our hill for our snow route. So I've got to immediately go back down and get Ashley. I literally have been in my car all day doing this now. But I need my, my kids home today, tonight. I need them home. 
I know Chelsea's gonna wanna go out and play and stuff, but I need them home. <laughs> My heart can't handle this. And I still haven't been able to get a hold of Jason. Um, so I need to like, I need to have all my peeps home tonight. And I wait again. So I can't really show you that <laughs> the uh, snow route bus stop because obviously like, that would uh, show you where we live. But now, <laughs> I mean, I'm in a line of about 30 cars, maybe, I think. And just got an, an email from the district saying, hey, guess what? All other schools are on delay now getting home because they all rely on the high school buses to be on time. They're the first ones to take everyone home because then now the middle school buses are late and the elementary schools are late. Ashley, or Chelsea is a different, she's at a completely different school in a different city, completely on a different route. And so she was kind of away from the mess, luckily. Oh, I see kids. They might actually have a bus. Let me get out and see if Ashley's on this one. Nope, it, this is literally still the high school bus, just barely getting home. Poor kids. So, I've got a little bit of weight. Yeah, these are definitely high school kids. Maybe some middle school. So, we're gonna be here for a bit because now that high school bus has to circle back around and go and get all the elementary kids. So, this is nuts. Luckily, we have leftovers from dinner last night. <laughs> Told Kaylee and Abby, I'm like, go eat. Go eat all the leftovers you want. And I won't have to cook. Because I'm gonna easily be here till like 4.30 or so. Hey kiddo, it's up here. You gotta walk. How you doing? Good. You have no idea the mayhem we've gone through today. What? I'll tell you in the car. But I'm glad to have you home. 